Hi, my name is Hannah and I work behind the scenes here at Scribe. Today I'm going to show you how to use Zoom. Zoom is a really simple, easy to use online video software which allows you to host meetings, conferences and webinars wherever you are in the world. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is download Zoom on my computer and create an account. So in the address bar, if you type zoom.us and hit enter. Once the Zoom page loads, at the top right hand corner you can see the sign up button. So we're going to click that button which will then take us to the create an account screen. Here you can sign up using your email address by simply typing it in this box. Alternatively, you can sign up using your existing Facebook or Google accounts. I already have an account with Google, so I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Once you've created an account, it will take you to the Zoom dashboard. Here we have quite a few options and different settings that we can use. I'm not going to show you these at the moment, but instead I'm going to show you how to download Zoom on your computer. So what you need to do is at the top right hand corner, you need to click on Resources and Download Zoom Client. And then you simply click Download for it to begin on your computer. The download will start automatically, and once it has finished, you can double click and it will open up the Zoom installer. The Zoom installer is really simple to use and you just have to click continue to go through the steps needed to add it onto your device. Um, it's super simple. I already have Zoom installed on my device so I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. However, once it's downloaded and installed, you can double click Zoom and it will open and look like this. So this is your Zoom dashboard and this is the main hub of Zoom. Um, everything you're generally going to need is on here. So I'm going to run you through the options. We have the option to start a new meeting. We also have the option to join an existing meeting or one you've been invited to. Here we have the option to schedule a meeting. So if you want to schedule a meeting for a future date, um, you can simply click this button and it will be automatically added to your calendar. And the final option we have here is to share your screen. So what we're going to show you first is I'm going to show you how to do a new meeting. So we're going to double click here and this will take you to the video screen. Once your meeting screen opens, we have two options in how we can join the meeting. We can either join via computer audio or by phone call. So computer audio is through your computer, really easy, and it works really well if you have headphones. Um, if not, if you don't have a microphone or headphones on your computer or your device, you can join using a phone call. So to do so, all you need to do is click on the phone call tab here, call one of these numbers. It will then ask for your meeting ID, your participant ID, and your password. This is just to make sure that you're the right person going into the meeting and Zoom will know who you are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join with my computer audio. Okay, so at the moment, I'm the only person in the meeting. I haven't invited anyone and it's just myself. As you can see, it's just a picture of me at the moment. However, I can simply start my video by clicking this button or unmute myself by clicking this button. I generally join a meeting without video or audio then you can toggle it on whenever you are ready. Along the bottom of our meeting screen, we have a toolbar which has a few features I'm going to show you. So if you go to the bottom of your screen, the toolbar will pop up. The first setting we have is security. Here we have a few options. So we can lock a meeting, which simply means no one else can join. And we can unlock the meeting if we want to. The second option we have is we can enable waiting room. So what this does is when participants join your meeting, it will put them into a virtual waiting room and you will have to, as the host, you will have to admit them into the meeting. So this is a really good security feature just to make sure the right people are joining your meeting. In the security tab, there's also three more options, um, just some permissions for your participants um, so you can allow them to share their screen, chat or rename themselves. It's up to you whether you toggle these on and off but they can be useful if you're hosting to a number of people. So next up we have the participant setting. So this is the main hub where you control who is in your meeting um, and where it will show when people want to join your meeting within the virtual waiting room that I spoke about earlier. So you have a few options. You can mute, unmute, block people's videos. All the participants will show up within this window um, so you can see exactly who is in your meeting, making sure the correct people are in your meeting who should be there. Here is where we can also invite people to join our meeting. So if we click the invite button at the bottom left hand corner, you can send your participants an email to invite them. Um, alternatively, you can copy the link and send it to invite email or simply copy the invitation to send. So yeah, really good settings there and really useful to use. So the next feature I'm going to show you on here is the chat feature. Uh, this is really useful if you are 
presenting a webinar or a conference where your participants may be muted, uh, but it might be that your participants have things they want to say, um, or you might be taking questions and answers at the end of the end of the video. Um, so participants can simply type here their questions. It'll be available for everyone to see within the meeting. Um, you can also sh they can also share files if they wanted to send you a file to look at. Uh, so just a really versatile setting there. So next up, I'm going to show you the share screen option. Now this is one of my favourite options in Zoom. Um, so you can share your whole screen if you want to share part of your screen, certain windows. It's really good if you're talking about certain documents. Um, you can also work together on the documents. What we really, really like is the whiteboard setting just here. Um, so basically it is like a whiteboard. It's a doodle, it's a blank canvas. You can do whatever you want on it. You can type, you can draw, you can do different colors. Um, it's really useful if you're having a brainstorming session um, as you can add graphs all off it with all your ideas. Um, from that we can then, if things are a good idea, we can add a tick next to them or if things maybe aren't such a good idea, we can simply put a cross next to them. Um, and you can wipe this clean as much as you like, you can save it, you can share it with the other participants in your meeting. Um, so that is a really good benefit of Zoom. Um, the next option we're going to show you is the record option. This basically provides you with the option to record your meeting. Really useful if you're hosting a webinar or a conference that you want to record for people that can't attend or to use for training later down the line. So you simply click record. Once your meeting ends, Zoom will download the recording on your computer for you to do whatever you wish with. Um, and the final option I'm going to show you is the reactions. Really easy. This just allows your participants to give you a thumbs up or clap while you're speaking or while others are speaking within the, within the conference. So lastly, I'm going to show you how to end a meeting. Um, again, really simple. You just go to the bottom right, click end meeting. It gives you two options. You can either leave the meeting, which means you as the host leave, but the others stay within the meeting, or you can end the meeting for all by clicking that button. And it will just take you back to your Zoom dashboard. So now you know how to start a new meeting, I'm going to show you how you schedule a meeting. So you click on schedule and it will bring you to the screen. Here we can give our meeting a title. We can then schedule a time, so it can be later that day, it can be in the future, so you can choose the start time and the end time. Here we can choose the meeting ID. Now we generally always use the same ID, the personal meeting ID stays the same. And here you can allocate a password to your meeting, which participants will need to enter in order to join the meeting. Just a really good security feature there. Here we have the video options, so you can choose whether the videos, your video is on and off, or your participants' video is on and off, and you can choose here how people can join the meeting. The final option is you can simply choose to add the meeting straight into the calendar, whichever calendar you may use. Um, so I'm going to schedule it within my Google Calendar, and here you can see it brings up my calendar, and I can simply press schedule. Here I can add others to the meeting if I wanted to. Um, so that's how to schedule a meeting, um, really simple, and you can see it's actually added it into my Zoom calendar here. So if I had more than one meeting, it would all show up here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to join an existing meeting. Um, so this is if you've been invited to someone else's meeting. So you click this button. Here you will enter the meeting ID um, or the personal link name, and here you can enter your name. And you can choose whether to join with video or audio or neither. Um, simply add all the information in here and click join and it will open up the Zoom meeting. So that's the basics of Zoom. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope now you fully understand how Zoom works. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch and good luck with your Zoom video conferences.